Hi, I am Eva from Mini Orange. Today we will see how our WordPress SSO standard plugin works. Before moving on to the plugin first let's understand what is single sign-on. Single sign-on is an authentication process that allows a user to access multiple applications with one set of login credentials. This means once you have logged in with user details you don't have to log in repeatedly to every application. Now let's start with the standard plugin tour. Let's see how you can configure an application on your identity provider side using service provider metadata. The service provider metadata tab provides three ways to configure your IDP. You can copy the metadata URL and provide it to your IDP, or you can download the plugin XML metadata and upload it on your IDP, or you can manually provide the metadata information to your IDP. You can also customize the SP base URL and SP entity ID as per your requirement and provide it to your IDP by one of the method explained above. Once the IDP configuration is done, then navigate to the Service Provider Setup tab. Let's see how we can configure the service provider using IDP endpoints. You can configure your service provider in two ways. Click on Upload IDP Metadata in the top right corner, enter your IDP name, and you may either upload the metadata file downloaded from IDP or offer a URL. Then, to set up, select the Fetch Metadata option. Alternatively, you can enter the metadata manually here. Fill in the following information here from your IDP. You can add an extra degree of security by enabling the option to send sign SSO requests based on your IDP's requirements. You can select the binding mechanism according to the needs of your IDP. Choose the name ID format from the drop-down menu. Click on Test Configuration to see if you have correctly configured your app. You will have to enter your IDP credentials. You will be able to see the attributes acquired from your IDP. Let's have a look at the Attribute and Role Mapping tab to see how we may configure these attributes. Navigate to the Attribute and Role Mapping tab. Attribute mapping is a feature that allows you to map user attributes from your identity provider to the WordPress users. The attributes acquired from your identity provider are displayed in the right-hand corner. These attributes can be assigned to a WordPress user. Select the appropriate attribute name from the list. Click on Save. Scroll down to the Role Mapping section. You can select any of the roles from the drop-down list as a default role for the SSO users. Click on Save. Now let's get to the main part of how single sign-on can be initiated from your site. Navigate to the Redirection and SSO Links tab. Here we have three alternatives to initiate the single sign-on. Auto Redirection from Site. Auto Redirection from WordPress Login. And SSO Links. Let's take a look at how each option works and how IDP attributes are mapped to WordPress user attributes after performing single sign-on. Auto Redirection from Site section provides the user with complete site protection feature. If this option is enabled, users will be forwarded to your IDP if the user is not logged in. Let's see how this feature works. Visit your WordPress site in the incognito window. Now, you will be able to see that as you are not currently logged in hence you will be redirected to the IDP login page. Now enter your IDP credentials. Click on Sign In button. After authentication, you will be redirected to the homepage of your WordPress site. Once SSO is successfully completed, users will be assigned the attributes as per the configuration made in the plugin, we can check this by going back to the Admin Dashboard. Click on the Users tab. We will be able to see the attributes that are mapped according to the attribute mapping as configured, and the default role as a contributor in the role mapping. These attributes will be updated every time a user performs the SSO. Now if you have a case where you don't want to change the default role of existing users, for that navigate back to the Attribute and Role Mapping tab, under the Role Mapping section, 
Enable the Do Not Update Existing User Role option. Now let's move on to the next feature of Auto Redirection provided by the standard plugin. Navigate back to the Redirection SSO Links tab. In the Auto Redirection from WordPress Login feature. If you wish to redirect the users visiting the WP Admin page or WP Login page to your configured IDP for authentication, then enable the Auto Redirection from WordPress Login option. Always keep the backdoor URL handy, this would be useful for you to access the WordPress backend, and log in using WordPress credentials in case you get locked out of your IDP. Click on the Update option. Now, let's see how the flow works. Open a new incognito tab and enter any of the following URL. You will be sent to the IDP login page for authentication. Enter the IDP credentials. On successful authentication, you will be logged in to the WordPress site. Now if you have a case where a user should be redirected to the particular page after every time the user performs SSO. For this you can leverage the feature of Relay State URL. Navigate to the plugin settings. Under the Redirection and SSO Links tab, you can find the feature of Relay State URL. Here you can enter that specific page URL, then click on the Update button. Now let's see how can we add the SSO links anywhere on the site in any page or any post. For that, scroll down to the SSO links section. You can either add the widget or, you can use shortcode in your WordPress page or, you can simply copy and embed the HTML link in your page where you want the user to initiate the SSO. This video covers all the feature of the standard plugin. If you have any queries then you can reach us at given email. Check out the other plans of our WordPress SAML SSO plugin which includes the features like advanced role mapping, custom attribute mapping, and many more. And it also support add-ons like SCIM user sync, page restriction, etc. Still if you have any queries then you can contact us at SAML support.